Uh, Kingston responded almost immediately, Phil, saying that his own poll showed him in second place. He did a McLaughlin and Associates poll. Uh, just as a quick disclaimer, I've done some media work in the past for Jack Kingston, but I think it's now developing. It's a fluid situation, but it's developing into these top three candidates trying to get into the runoff slot. And as we know, we've got a lot of TV ads coming out. Uh, I think this news, uh, Karen Handel, will probably be getting more money. Now, she's been underfunded, as we've talked about. So uh, it could go with any of those three people. One thing on these two polls, well, one thing on these two polls is that David Perdue uh, has been dropping down a few points. Mm -hmm. Now, will that continue? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, the other thing in the polls that's worth noting is that Paul Brown does not seem to be getting the attraction that we thought he would get early on. <clears throat> if you go back to our broadcast of a few months ago, we looked at Paul Brown as someone who would be up around he has 20%. Stayed, he has stayed around 12 well, or 13 percent. And I think part of it is that they haven't gotten the exposure that uh, they probably might have wished to have gotten by doing their their debates and campaigns is people just aren't but, aren't hearing from them. Well, I, I, and I, they know, don't I find have the, the name recognition. That you don't have, even in the state of Georgia, you don't have the extreme Republicans uh, in, the, in, in the lead here, but more moderate folks like Kingston, obviously, David Perdue, who's got a business well, they're solid background. Conservatives. Even, they're, even, solid conservatives. Even, they're solid conservatives, but they're not they're, Paul Brown. They're different degrees yeah. of, there's different <laughs> right. degrees you know. of conservatives. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, and also, there's another factor that we all have to look at is the undecided vote. Now, in these two polls, uh, it does show you've still, uh, the insider advantage Fox 5 poll showed 11 percent. Uh, I think there's still Republican voters shopping around. I think there's soft support. We see that for, for Purdue, uh, who's losing some points. I think the candidates shift position by every new flight of television commercials. Right. I think that's, that's what's going on here as the undecideds drop, but I don't think it's solid support. I agree with you. And then Kingston just has support from the U.S. Chamber, and they're going to be doing ads for him, so that might hurt David Perdue, the business guy. Well, and Karen Handel's rise, I think, is directly related uh, to the endorsements and commercials involving Sarah Palin and uh, the uh, governor of Arizona, Jan Brewer. Jan Brewer. Right. I think that's now on the Democratic side. Um, Michelle Nunn has issued yet another Republican commercial. She <laughs> is so good she as is a good. Republican. This is as, a, as a Republican, she's <laughs> so good. But she's been very, very, running a very smart and shrewd, uh, what is it, primary uh, Yeah, campaign. I think she knows where she's running. She's running in the state of Georgia. You know, and her, her, her I was about to say her husband, her father <laughs> was, was uh, you know, 